For most of us, the webcams on our PC is definitely no more useful than to do video calling or taking a few selfies occasionally. Until now, I'm sure we barely thought of webcams will ever possess some intelligence by themselves, adding an extra sense to our computer to know more about its surroundings and its user. It all suddenly became possible since we started playing with this cutting-edge input device. Pioneering the feature of human-computer interface devices, this is the Intel RealSense Camera F200. Simply calling the RealSense F200 a webcam is more like an install to all sorts of things it can do. The story of its development started when Intel together with Microsoft was ambitious to complement the PC or laptop with a 3D environmental awareness, enhancing the computer's ability to interact with the real world more easily. The developer kit we used for this review was definitely lent to us because Intel did not decide to release a public version of the product until now. But in case you want to register yourself as a developer, you can reserve one of these for about 100 bucks. One of the new features in Windows 10 is Windows Hello. Windows Hello is simplifying biometric authorization methods, beginning from fingerprints, which already are pretty common, till face or iris recognition, powered by RealSense. With the Intel F200, after setting up Windows Hello, we will then be able to log in real fast without typing any passwords. Correct, lightning fast. The limitations we felt so far was the short range of its facial recognition. Nevertheless, I'm getting used to it real quick and became really comfortable with this login method. Intel is currently also trying to implement real sense camera in as many laptops as possible in the near term. To demonstrate many of the capabilities and potential uses of this hardware, Intel has put together a collection of demo applications. RealSense SDK and a demo collection can be downloaded at Intel's website after installing the camera. Inside, you will find a few basic programs as well as a few simple games or 3D demos requiring Unity Engine in order to work. Take for example a pretty good hand tracking software, a motion tracking app and a dozen of simple games ready to be controlled by your gestures. Intel hopes that there will be more and more developers interested on their RealSense platform. In a nutshell, the Intel RealSense F200 can provide you a glimpse of how interactions with the computers of the future will look like. Remember Tom Cruise in Minority Report, anyone? In short, don't be surprised if this product, within its late stages of development, is still not entirely perfect including misreading gestures on a few occasions. Nevertheless, I still see that Intel with their partner Microsoft will take the implementation of this hardware into as many devices as possible seriously. So that's it for the Intel RealSense F200. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.